Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. Meaning, have my back because I have yours. So we have choices and we have kindness and at the and we have time. So um, time says... Um, time spent worrying is time spent. So it's no need to worry. It's nothing you can do about the things that you cannot change. The only thing you can do is try to manifest something do different and do the work. Um, and it comes with choices. So you have the key to the choices in your life. But it says worry less about making the right choices and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome. So regardless, uh, you know, that God grant me the serenity to except the things that I cannot change the will to that thing right there is no need to worry. Whatever it is that happens is meant to happen. And that is you understanding what kindness comes in at in your life. What if being kind to yourself really could change everything? Stop worrying less. Be kind to yourself. Understand there's things that you cannot change. Understand that you did everything that you could do in a situation. And the only thing you can do is, um, send strength and healing, hope for the best. Um, and manifest the best actually and actually try to do the work when it comes to certain situations and that is the way we get out of worrying and live in the present moment and know that in the present moment the way that you feel and what you need to do uh when it comes to yeah uh ten of swords the burdens the things that you cannot change ten of swords energy is not burdens i'm sorry ten of wands is but the ten of swords energy is just those endings that have to happen in order for you to go into soul searching mode, which is the hermit energy. You know, the soul searching helps us be able to deal with uh, what it is that, you know, we're going through the pain, the loss, the betrayal, all of those different things, the endings that bring new beginnings. Those type of things are why the hermit energy is there. The hermit energy just lets you know that Sometimes you have to meditate on it. Sometimes you just have to sit still and let it be and just know that you've done your best in any situation. And when it comes to the King of Pentacles, so who the King of Pentacles is, is somebody that is able to um, take risk. And so it says there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. Investing your time wisely kind of looks like the chariot energy, just moving forward no matter what, not sitting still and not folding when you don't know what the outcome will be. Um, the King of, Pen King of Pentacles can also be somebody who is very business sa savvy, that's structured, that is uh, disciplined, and that can lead and very abundant and also wealthy. But in order to do that, you have to be able to take those risks. Sometimes you have to win some, sometimes you have to lose some. But the Hermit energy is the soul searching and the moving forward with the chariot energy. Just let you know that, you know, you got to keep going no matter what the situation is. And, you know, only time will tell. And that's where... I see the timing card coming in at because the devil energy, a wolf in sheep clothing, the devil energy can um, be um, basically um, beware of your surroundings, beware of the things that you, the addictions, the things that you do. Um, you know, this is a wolf in sheep clothing. So here it is. There are sheep here. There's a watcher here and there's a wolf there. But the wolf is right here where they have access to the sheep. But the person that's watching or the person that knows where the toxic, what, what the toxicity is, is not even paying attention. And so this is you having to be aware of your surroundings and understand that your toxicities and the things that, you know, have been toxic in your life can basically um, be the reason for your downfall. And that is the, the um, lessons that we have to learn moving forward. You know, it's like the detachment energies, the, you know, um, what it is, addictions, things like that, those types of things that we have to, that are, that come easy, that ones that keep us going, the codependent energy, those types of things are the reason why we have to, yeah, we have the realization in order to be able to move forward. And this is somebody getting baptized and everybody watching, but judgment energy is a realization. Judgment energy is also just letting you know that, you know, you have to face yourself and face your own, um, uh, choices in life and that's uh, a lot of them are you're not being kind to yourself because again you get to this point to where you're able to move forward you're able to make these uh, choices and the toxicities are always the reason why you keep going backwards and so 
That's the reason why the universe says the only thing you can do is wait and trust in divine timing. And you can't rush a thing, live in the present moment and move forward from there. We have the nine of pentacles and we have the page of wands. Okay, so the page of wands is actually letting you know that when it comes to these situations, you have to live in the present moment. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. The only thing that's real is what you're going through right now. That's the present moment, the feelings, the emotions, the things that you have when it comes to you, why you haven't become abundant or the choices that you made. Nine of Pentacles energy, it could be close to nine years that everything is starting to play out with the way that you expected and the way that you saw things. And that is by you living in the present moment and understanding where your toxicities lie at and the people around you and also, not your toxicities, but the lessons that you have to learn when it comes to dealing with the consequences or the your addictions or the things that hold you back, if that makes sense, and the codependent energies. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. Um, the tower energy is, um, you know, things happening, unexpected en en endings, you know. This is you having to understand that, you know, these things that were unexpected when it comes to... Um, making decisions and also um what is it the ten of swords energy you know soul searching or endings uh that bring new beginnings these things are because of the um what you choose to allow what by not having boundaries and so the choices are here the choices again says worry less about making the right choice and more about being strong enough to handle any outcome so setting those boundaries understanding that you know everything must come to an end at one day one day one time uh you know and you have to be able to move forward and take those risks when it comes to dealing with that we're going to clarify the ten of swords energy is what i was going to say ten of swords is overthinking and the ten excuse me the ten of swords clarified with the ten of swords unsure so you're overthinking about basically the things that have happened to you um, in the past or the things that are happening to you you need to live in the present moment this is endings that bring new beginnings this could be betrayal it could be a whole bunch of things but you have to recover from these situations and you have to understand that resisting endings because of um, you're afraid or you you're you're overthinking a certain situation you have to be able to do that so the ten of swords clarifies why you can't be unsure about um, the endings you have to just go ahead and understand you have to go ahead and and accept the misfortune or accept the things that you can't change. You know, you can't you have to go ahead and accept those. And then, you know, the hermit energy soul searching. You have to search and understand that with the hermit and being here. <clears throat> I'm about to cough. Sorry. With the hermit being here, you have to understand that you have to meditate on it. The only thing you can do is search or uh, do some type of soul search and pull your energy back. And also uh, page of wands energy, which is unsure pull your energy back and know that if you're not living in the present moment, page of wands came out twice right here. And now it's unsure when it comes to you pulling your energy back, you're not living in the present moment. You're worried about the past and also the future, which is causing you anxiety. And that's the reason why you have to, the universe is saying, pull your energy back and move forward. Uh, we have with clarity, move forward with clarity and also understand where ego lies at. Ego is basically you trying not to, um, deal with the ine inevitable, you know, or deal with the disagreements, the conflict, and the things that um, um, cause all of these different fin uh, these energies. You would rather just go ahead and move forward, no matter how, um, not move forward, stay stagnant because your ego of what um, choices you may have, uh, and try to change the situation and make the make a better better situation out of it instead of you dealing and doing the work and taking the risk to move forward, if that makes sense. And so the King of Pentacles is what we're clarifying now. Yeah, um, the King of Pentacles comes out with the high priestess energy. You have to trust in your intuition that the risk that you take moving forward, the chariot energy, you have to trust in your intuition and know that, you know, you have to listen to your instincts. If you don't listen to your instincts, the choices that the universe have for you will just sit there and sometimes when it comes to um yeah six of cups energy the memories you holding on to them and not wanting to move forward and also um having the realization uh with the clarifying the chariot right the memories that you have and the childhood trauma that you may be you may have experienced or 
um, six of cups energy um, when it comes to I'm trying to think of how to put this um, the things that you've experienced as a child and why you feel like the choices are there but you're not being kind to yourself you have to really look at why you're afraid to move forward and trust in your intuition um, with the judgment energy is what we're clarifying now the judgment energy comes out unsure with the hangman so the realization you have is that if you move forward or if you move forward and you let go of the past the hangman energy which is you know you surrendering to the past or you being afraid to surrender to the past you're not surrendering when it comes to why you feel certain ways and so that is um in actuality why you have no other choice but to move forward to to get out of this this feeling stuck type of energy because this is this is only destruction and that's the realization that you should be having but you and dealing with all the traumas and the ego and overthinking a situation is causing you to just stay stagnant hangman and clarifying the judgment you know the hangman energy is just you know you're not you're not you're not in limbo you are you're doing this to yourself basically you're doing this to yourself you're making yourself even though you realize the things that are keeping you stagnant and the opportunities that are there you're afraid of the opportunities that you may uh um what is it called that you may come across because it's easier to stay in a um it's easier to stay in a toxic environment with the devil energy being here it's easy to stay you know this energy reminds me of it's okay um I don't I, I'm I reached the plateau because if you know regular tarot there um, you know it's like you reach the plateau but you reach a plateau and then you're at this job or you're in this relationship that's easier to deal with even though you know you have to sacrifice other things but you're still getting paid like you're just you know that's like an ego it's okay because you know um, the wolf will come back we'll get more sheep or something like that making excuses right if that makes sense and so that's the reason why you are afraid of the new opportunities and that's the realization that you have to be able to trust in your uh trust and take the risk that you need to take and move forward and stop dwelling on the past of what was easy and what you went through in regards to financial lack and things like that so timing is everything let me read the back of here oh i remember time spent worrying is time spent so you know instead of you trying to really get out there you would be comfortable with having a situation that it is just go with the flow type mentality even though you know you have more wit and more smarts in order to uh, you know that you can use and you're just a, you're just you're just staying because it's easier if that makes sense i don't know how am i saying that but the devil energy is here the devil energy Clarifying the devil energy. Oh, my cards are not in reverse. With the nine of cups in reverse. Yep. So this makes more sense. So this is a lack of uh, true joy, you know, and this is dissatisfaction. You are dissatisfied with everything, but the toxicity, the codependent energies is, is just okay. You're okay with just staying there. And so I'm going to clarify the nine of cups in the reverse. You're okay with that because, again, it's less controversy that you have to deal with or less stress that you have to worry about or the unknown you rather go somewhere which is easier for you to deal with than for you to have your rewards and go after your dreams and this is the sun energy you have to grow the sun energy is telling you it's time to grow up it's time to grow up it's time to stop worrying about if you're going to be successful if you take that leap stop overthinking get out of that ego based energy and ego is just basically an unwinnable situation that you are doing because here it is this person, this, this, right now, this wolf could eat all of these sheep. But, you know, the thing is, is that you're not there to run him off. So he can take his time. The sheep can take his time. Page of Wands energy, being in the present moment and not thinking about the past or not being afraid of the past or also having anxiety of the future is letting you know that you need to move forward 
and go from there because again the growth is where everything is at and that's with timing and this is the ace of pentacles energy the two of wands energy and the king of cups energy so the king of cups energy is basically emotional control and having balance but the page of cups energy or excuse me the ace of cups energy and I say the Ace of Cups, I meant to say the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles energy is having courage. You have to have the courage to be able to make a decision to a wand's energy, to make a decision to be decisive and understand that this takes emotional control and balance in order for you to make these types of decisions to have your Nine of Pentacles. And so you have to get out of your own way. That's basically what I'm trying to say in regards to the Three of Cups energy. The Three of Cups energy is unsure. You know, where the Three of Cups should be basically you being able to celebrate your creativity and collaborate with other people. You'd rather do things alone and basically, um, um, you know, uh, and, and alone, meaning the devil energy when it comes to, you know, you basically sitting here and doing what's easier for you because you're afraid to collaborate with others based upon that's called growth, right? And you're not ready to grow. You're, you're, you're stagnant. You're stagnant. And again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This could be another energy, but, or I could be clarifying an energy that resonates. But again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're going to clarify the Three of Cups energy. But you basically just need to get out of your own way. That's just kind of what I'm looking at. It's like the choices that you have are to be successful, but you so busy worried about certain situations for a wants energy, you know, that you just cannot get out of this situation to where, you know, you're celebrating, you have the community, you have the home that you want. You're not able to do this because again, mirror, mirror on the wall, how do you see yourself, right? You see yourself successful. You see yourself thriving, but at the same time, you know that this is too, it, it's going to take work. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take everything in order for you to have peace, happiness, and harmonious energy in your home or in a situation to have that nine of pentacles energy. So you're going to have to step out on faith to collaborate with others or to uh, get out of your own way in order for ha to have that harmony. And at the bottom of the deck, it's the ten of cups. Yeah, I want to say happy life, happy wife, but you're so busy worried about all of these different things and not trusting in divine timing and worried about the endings. That's what you're worried about is the endings and how the future will be if you end things and you start over instead of understanding that the, the maze that you take of working hard and doing the things that you need to do, Ten of Cups energy, you're going to be able to be happy and it's inner happiness that you have to come apart, come across and having your dreams come true and fulfilling them. You have to uh, focus on inner happiness and that's the choices that you need to make when it comes to being kind to yourself, focusing on inner happiness, taking risk and also trusting in your intuition. So again, that's just kind of how I see that energy. I'm going to go ahead. Let me see. I was going to pull from... <laughs> What was I going to pull from? I was thinking about pulling from. <sighs> Hold on. Let's see. It was a. Uh... Is it right here? Oh, yeah. Um, this is the uh, fortune cookie deck. Yeah, I'm going to pull from here to see uh, what your fortune is. You know, again, you have to be able to step out and know that the toxicities will always be there. But. Yeah, overcome adversity. Exactly. You have to overcome adversity. And that is what it is that you need to do is to overcome adversity. And it says truth will be revealed. So no matter what, trust in divine timing. That's why the clock is here, right? It's time to end things, right? And also, and that's for your happiness. And the truth will be unveiled, unveiled if you just trust in divine timing. And that's the choices that you have. So let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then we're going to pull from the four agreements. If you are, um, this came out of my last read. I told you I don't like pulling like these. I think, I don't think this one. It was a couple of reads ago. But um, if you want to know my perspective of the four agreements and the uh, chakras, click the links up above. So it says don't make assumptions. Be aware of your unconscious assumptions. Assumptions are made so fast and unconsciously most of the time because we have re agreements to communicate this way. We have agreed that it is not safe to ask questions. We have agreed that if people love us, they should know what we want or how we how how we feel. And so again, choices are the way that you are um 
dealing with potential in others and letting people, you know, seeing the potential in others and not being able to say exactly what it is that you want. So if this is in regards to love, if this is in regards to a job, if this person is content with this way, because with this job, because, you know, in actuality, they want to move up in this uh, work situation, knowing that they have the ability to, but they're afraid to uh, say something because they think that somebody will see their worth down the line or the growth comes in at when you uh, nine of cups energy, get out of your own way. Basically, you know, when you, you, you have this lack of joy and you're dissatisfied in regards to what it is that you're doing and you grow from there. Does that make sense? And so the red goldstone, um, uh, crystal is root, sacral, and solar plex chakra is distant healing, protection, and deflection. Distant healing, protection, and deflection. And it says, I sparkle like the universe and absorb only positive energies. I sparkle like the universe and only absorb positive energies. My um, my niece went, had a baby, so I'm about to take my nails off because I need to get a feel. And I don't want it. She's talking about, come to my house, I'll do your nails. No. You need to rest. And so that is where I'm at. So let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of black doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.